Impossible! What happened? The Hilly Churl worshippers have disappeared too? Was it all an illusion? That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> It was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, Traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Kari Bear? Where has he gone? Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No, no, it can't have been that. There's, there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he'd... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oh no. Did he? <gasps> the mirror, it's broken. He must have taken his mask off. And seen what he looks like beneath it. Ugh! If he'd just done as he was told! Ugh! We have to find him. It's his scarf. He dropped it. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. Bear! Curry Bear! Where are you? Curses! Forest Rangers. Hey! Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... you Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Rangers! Curse you all, Forest Rangers! I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You... He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, 
You're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <clears throat> use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction, so I left it alone. <gasps> yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! Let's, let's go! Uh, we have to find him! Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? Bear! Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Cory Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Cory Bear? How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely. Come, Curry Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Papa. Curry Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much. Papa! <sighs> oh, I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> ah, Traveler, you're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberic. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us Sinner. It was one and the same. <laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. That is no business of yours. A sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Karabair did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. Huh. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. 
To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Conria? Why did he just call me? while you were unconscious. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, Neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you all right? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? Hmm. So you saw her memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. What is it? The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the Duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later, and it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? What? That's impossible. Unless... Clotar Alberi finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? 
Why? What is he? All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh?